Hey folks, so in this video, I wanted to finish a Twitch stream that we started last week about uh, trying out the CloudWatch metrics stream service. Uh, we built all the templates out and for whatever reason during the stream, data wouldn't deliver from the Kinesis fire hose to the S3 bucket. So I went back and I had a look at everything. And to be honest, I'm not quite sure what we had wrong in the stream, but I thought I'd walk through everything today uh, and just record this so we can see how it works. So let's start with the templates. Pretty basic stuff, we'll get rid of the deploy script. Um, KMS, uh, we're, we're creating a, a CMK here and we're using this for encryption. Uh, I marked this as S3 encryption, but it's really used by both the S3 bucket to protect data at rest, but also the Kinesis stream because we've got Firehose here. Remember that Firehose buffers data for five minutes or sorry five i think it's five meg or 300 seconds so five minutes we want to protect that data while it's at rest before it's delivered to uh, the the uh, s3 bucket by the firehose solution so we're using it in two locations pretty standard setup here i know that i have just a star setup here i couldn't find any good example of a bucket pol or sorry a key policy specifically for this so i just i kind of left it open okay we wouldn't want to do that uh, in a real deployment though S3 standard bucket deployment here using encryption. We've set up lifecycle rules. We're going to make sure that we block public access. Uh, you know, we've got a couple conditions. Is it versioned? Is it encrypted? So depending on how we answer these, uh, these various uh, components will be deployed. So nothing too fancy there. We've also got a default bucket policy set up that says deny all S3 actions if whatever is talking to this is not using a secure transport, so SSL. So that's that. Um, here's the fire hose deployment. Pretty simple again. We've set up the delivery stream here. We've got the encryption set up. We're, this is the one difference actually between what we did in the stream and what we did uh, when I built out these templates. I'm using the extended S3 destination config versus the S3 destination config. I don't know. Um, as far as I can tell, really, the extended just gives us more configuration options than the S3 destination config. So I don't have a really good answer as to why this works versus what we built on stream. Okay. And then the final template is, is the stream config itself. So we need some IAM roles and policies here. So we've got those set up. And the stream configuration itself is pretty basic, right? Give us the ARN for the Firehose config. Tell us the output format. From the stream, we remember that we could do JSON or open telemetry. We've got this set up as a uh, parameter value. The default is JSON, so we've got that set. And then what's what's the role? And the role ARN here gives us the ability to uh, have the stream service, the CloudWatch metric stream service, put records into Firehose. So it essentially stream writes to Firehose, Firehose then batches up that information and, or that metric data it would be maybe a better way to describe it and then delivers it to the S3 bucket. So that's it, okay? Like we do in the stream, I've got, where is it? My pipeline built here and we're just gonna run the pipeline. So this will take a few minutes. And just as we did that, our session expired. Go back to CloudFormation. And you can see the streams coming, or sorry, not the streams, the stacks coming to life. So the first thing is deploying our CMK. We'll get that one going. That takes a bit of time. And we should see the other stacks come together here pretty quickly. All right, so we'll pause the video here. Let the uh, KMS deployment finish. We'll be back to do the rest of the, uh, the stacks in a few minutes here. Okay, folks, welcome back. You can see the stream. Sorry, I keep saying stream. The CMK from KMS is done now. So we've got an output. Uh, we've got the, the alias, an ID for this. So we're ready to move on. We're going to go ahead and create the S3 bucket, which will actually store the metric data. This should happen relatively quickly here. 
All right, just a few minutes to get the bucket set up. Fire hose is next. Another couple minutes to get the fire hose uh, stream set up. And then finally, the actual CloudWatch metric stream, which takes a few minutes as well. And there you have it, the stream is now deployed. So you can see here we've got four templates. Everything now is deployed. Remember that Firehose has buffering, so five megs or five minutes, whichever of those two outcomes happens first, and then that data will be delivered, the metric data will be delivered to, in our case, the S3 bucket that we've got uh, set up as the destination for the Firehose. In our little demo environment here, we do have to wait about five minutes, so we will uh, come back here when we have some data to show. Okay, folks, welcome back. Uh, we have data. So if I drill down into our S3 bucket, you can see we gotta go down, day, timestamp, and there we go, a CSV file with uh, streaming data in it. So it's working, it's alive. Again, not quite sure why it didn't work on stream. Uh, you know, joys of, of live demos, but we got it going. So we'll just walk through here and have a look at the components. Here's our fire hose. You can see the configuration of it here, the permissions assigned to it. Uh, remember, this is the role that the Firehose will use to deliver the stream data to the S3 bucket. Okay, no transformation, anything like that. And then we've got the details of the S3 bucket itself. And there's the buffer right here, five megabits or uh, 300 seconds. So that's the Firehose setup. And then over in the, the CloudWatch streams, it's relatively easy. Right, you get a couple basic uh, numbers here, the data metric updates, okay, and any errors with that metric data. And then at the top, all of the details, okay, the destination of the metric data, the fire hose configuration, and then again, the roles that we've set up here to allow the various services to write data to the fire hose service, fire hose writing data to S3. Okay, so there you have it. Again, not sure why it didn't work on stream, but we've got it up and running. If we go back here, drill down in. Uh, still just the, the one file there, but uh, we're all set up, okay? More actual waiting around than uh, the amount of time it took to actually deploy this. Oh, uh, one other thing. I've had a couple questions in the past why we're putting IAM configuration in the individual templates. So in this example, we have a policy, a, a managed policy and a role in the CloudWatch streams template. And then we have a managed policy and a role in the Firehose template as well. Uh, honestly, it's really up to you to, to decide how you want to do this. You know, sometimes we do separate the, the IAM resources into their own template and then export that information and use it as imports into the other templates. It really does just depend, just it depends on how the particular implementation, that customer wants to manage those uh, IAM resources. Is it managed by a single team? Is it managed by multiple teams? Do you have specific compliance requirements that uh, mandate that security is separated from the other components? Uh, this is something that you'd have to talk about internally. Make sure that uh, what you're doing makes sense for, for your uh, requirements before you do any work. In these demos, it's just, I find it easier as we're trying to teach people how to build out these templates, just to include them all in one spot. Okay, so there you have it. CloudWatch streams deployed with CloudFormation. It took us a little longer than I thought to get it working, but uh, we're all set up and ready to go. Thanks for watching.